what time? Hi everybody, Dave Salt for Vapory. Yeah, it's one of them vloggy things. I don't do many, very many of them, as you know. And I thought I'd just uh, pop one out today because I felt like it. And uh, first things first, let's congr congratulate, <laughs> congratulate uh, Paul Norman on his win for the 500 subscriber giveaway. Yeah, and that's been sent off today. That's uh, actually on its way to him. So he should receive uh, his uh, winnings in the next few days give it three four days possibly and as you can see look warning may start talking about vaping do you think my daughter was trying to tell me something i do anyway um let me update we're on we're on the 23rd right 23rd so tomorrow the 24th will be my 10th anniversary of starting vaping now remember for seven years that i dual used so I don't know if you can call it a, a vape anniversary, but 10 years since I picked up an e-cigarette, which is good, which was passed over to me from my daughter, which was really, really good. And uh, yeah, guys, I've not had a lot in, and there's not been a lot of videos out, but I've got a few things in. I've got this that come this morning. I've got the Enforcer Clone, which I'm really looking forward to having a go at. And I got uh, I got invaded. My lair got invaded by the devil, of course, because I got... Uh, the Devil Vapor T-shirt come, and I just love that graphic of Dino's. I really do. I would really do. It's absolutely fantastic. So I've got that. I've got uh, a few more clones coming. Uh, the slam piece, of course, coming, and I got. <laughs> Guys, interrupting me on video because I forgot to mention. Mech mods are for advanced users only. And you know you really have to know, know what you're doing. You know, have to know your build. You have to know your battery safety. And I don't want it to end up like this next clip. So I'll roll that clip now. No! Guys, as you've seen from the clip, you don't really want that to happen to your dear, you know, giving it an unexperienced uh, vapor. You know, I'm not saying anything about the bobster and the mech. But, yeah, let's get back to the vlog. See you in a minute. So, I've got a couple of items on the way, including the uh, new True Tank, the mouth to lunga. Um, I've, I've ordered that, pre-ordered that because I'm hashtag no thought because no one ever thinks about sending me anything because I'm such a small channel. Plus, I got uh, I got the non-TPD compliant uh, FP from the vaping postman from Mark. I bought this from China, and uh, yeah, it, just put it over there. Get that out, and I'll show you all the glasses are the same size in this, including. The bubble glass which is actually glass now i'm still waiting for the tbd compliant silver one to come so i'm not going to do the do 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 the review for this until i've got the silver one as well and i can compare the boxes and the and the separate packages that come with that and uh yeah so there's not a lot there's not a lot in um news about the the lost fate Par paranormal 250c um i was on to them about about it about the screen being so dim and what have you and they asked me for a photograph of it well my camera would rectify anything so i refused to do that um and they said it needs to go to repair to america and um, i'm not going to bother sending it off to america to, to do that's a waste of time and a waste of money so that's out the window i'm going to just do the review on that as it is when i finally get down to it few things to, to review one coming up it should have been the last one really but i didn't do is the inicon proton uh but the older kit because there's two kits now there's the, the proton kit which comes with a scion 2 tank and the proton 
plexus kit which comes with the plexus tank which is basically the scion tank looking like a prince tank with the normal scion um, plexus coils so that's a bit confusing isn't it <laughs> just have a quick swig so there's plenty to come up I was supposedly having a break and having a rebrand I've not been able to get down to doing that even though I've been ill while I was ill I actually built myself a, a table cam rig so I can actually do the table cam stuff without all the faffing about of using a tripod and bending it forward and weighting it down at one end and all that crap that goes with it I've now built myself a proper a proper frame that's uh, that fits on this this desk really easily clamps on and I'm gonna be away I'm really gonna enjoy using that uh, I don't enjoy using a tripod doing it either working around it or trying to do things upside down because it just it's a pain in the backside so I've got them I've got loads of juices still to do with it as you probably know and I believe we've got some more on the way and I'm just having a quick look around because I'm, I'm wondering what else I've missed <laughs> oh of course yeah I got uh, this will be coming up for review as well yes yes the Titan mod and the Titan tank battery life forever juice forever bleeding hell juice forever 30 mil you can use up in one of these tanks 28 mil capacity it says but we forget about all the stuff underneath the deck and the uh, wicks and everything else so you easily lose 30 mil right away <laughs> excuse me <laughs> it's got a bit of uh, cinnamon in it's an apple and cinnamon and that cinnamon even though it's slight it hits the back of my throat every time Whoa. <laughs> as I see as you can see <laughs> um, some juices that I, I was uh, I did review that I was really surprised about was the pancake factory ones now they are made under different labels and they are the them labels are not the or I should say these labels are not the best labels for them uh, but the juice was coming over over branded and it's over branded names and it is the same juice uh, so that will count for anything like that if you, you fancy any of them and uh, yeah I've got uh, got one or two more items that I want to go through um, one or two items I did this was a, an absolutely fantastic little squonker and uh, RDA for less than 20 quid that I got from China and I'm really enjoying it it does it doesn't remind me a lot of the uh, a leader one but it's a, a good little thing anyway um, while I'm on this little vloggy rambling part uh, oops there goes my glasses just let me pick them up you know it's you know it's there knock everything over um, the h24 that has, I advise people not to get uh, Dino did tell me about some silver springs for it um, at Nature Vape, but Nature Vape unfortunately don't have them in. So what I did the other night is I changed it over for the spare spring, and it's working perfectly all right. So if you've got if you've got one and you're getting hot button, just transfer the other spring in for now until you can get hold of one of the silver ones, um, because it's working really well on that. I don't think there's anything else that's, that's come in. Um, I am due a few items, I believe, but as a hashtag no for, there's no telling that them items will come in. You know, Dino has his hashtag after for, and hashtag no for. And that's about it, guys, for what I've got in. I got some wire. I had a lot of things go missing in the post over the last fortnight or three weeks since my uh, postman was on leave. Thank God he's back today, and today I've got some of my post. And uh, and I've turned it off. So uh, some of my things will be coming. I've got another Mech clone coming, and uh, an RDA clone that's coming. Regulated stuff. There's nothing really took me interest, and as you 
as you know I have to pay for these things myself so I'm not going to spend money on stuff that I'm not really interested in now, especially at this time of year and some of you guys will probably have saved and are going to expo um, at the end of the week and others of us will be saving for Christmas for presents for grandkids and, and crap like that Yeah, because I'm that old, I really am and uh, just a few things uh, the Bobster, um, as you probably know or may not know, uh, he's going in for a serious back operation, 12, 12 hour operation uh, on his back. So I hope we all wish him well with that and everything goes well for him um, because it is compounded by the fact that he has osteoporosis. So back operation you know, could be a bit dodgy and uh, we hope that he, he makes a speedy recovery on that because I need me... Uh, I need my partner there for some of the some of the juice reviews. Otherwise, none of you guys would have a laugh, would you? Because I'm a boring old bastard. So, uh, let's hope Bob. let's hope Bob makes a speedy recovery on that one, and uh, I'll try and keep you informed as I go along. And that's about it. That's all I wanted to say. And a few shout outs like this of uh, MBK who shout me out all the time, Aiden. Uh, little bro vapes who shout me out the other week on the on the show as well um you guys you know thank you very much um yeah i did it the 500 and it has gone beyond that and um as 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 we've all reviewers when you put a, a giveaway out you, you suddenly get an influx of, of uh subscribers unfortunately they, some of them didn't read the uh description so they have gone again now and have been replaced with people who actually want to watch the uh watch the channel and I'll just spit then believe it or not you want to watch the channel um, which is good so I'm on, on around about the 525 530 mark which I can't really complain about it's growing slowly um, live shows Friday I'm managing to get something out <laughs> might not be but might not be good but you're getting something out uh, I spoke to Damo last night And with a bit of luck, it won't be long before Damo's back on the scene and we, we have the uh, day and night show on the Friday back together on the two hour slot rather than 11 o'clock for an hour with just me rambling on with a load of crap. Um, yeah, I've not had a, a guest for the last two weeks, I think. Yep. Yeah. Um, so um, I think, I think we might have a guest this week, but I'm not too sure yet so keep your eye out on that one and that's it guys that's all that's going on with the channel <coughs> a few bits and pieces in nothing much um nothing of interest to a lot of people actually unless you're a mech user because it's mainly mechs and i have been going through some of my uh my older stuff um the other night i pulled this out and i was using it which is the tin box the zebra wood one from smart which is a little 75 watt it's a little banger and it feels really nice that wood i got things that like that out and the old smock gear that you know everybody hates smock at the moment and i don't know why because you know yeah they, they turn out loads of shite but it's a big seller <laughs> and I, I don't have any problems at all with the x i i really like the x there's nothing wrong with that nothing at all wrong with that so I've had things like the uh, X Cube 2 out I've been messing about with and a few overall fit bits and pieces and uh, eventually one day I will get to do the retro stuff but looking at the X Cube I was very surprised to see that a hell of a lot of places are still selling it and it's around about the 53 quid mark which really surprised me and some of you have uh Mine to no tips if I can find the bugger. I have been actually using and I don't know what I've done with it. The limitless looks. What have I done with the bugger? How can you how can you miss something that's that big? Anyway, it's about somewhere. So I've had a few bits and pieces out that I've been messing about with. Oh um and the, uh, I've had the rogue out, the rogue one under out again, you know, it's so gorgeous. And I've got the warhead on that because it's the only thing I can find that it actually sits flush on. 
and uh, I actually got this for the slam and it just sticks up too far or it pushes the, the button doesn't screw up you know at the bottom and all that lot properly and nice Heisenberg in that this is the only thing it actually sits flush on so I'm a bit disappointed about that so I've had things out and about and I've been messing about with and uh, I don't know what the hell I've done with the, the looks and it's such a big bloody item so there will be a few bits and pieces ever said as I said before uh, again congrats to uh, Paul Norman on his win and good luck to the Bob Stowe with his operation on Thursday 12 hour operation rather him than me so guys that's it little vloggy thing as I say there's not a lot in not a lot that I fancied um, but there is a few items to come up and plenty of juice reviews so I might as well say bye bye you know I'll see you soon bye now